Okay, this tutorial is going to show you how to do a five-pointed star, also known as the pentagram. And this is the most complex one. There's two tricky parts, but we start off the same way we did with the four. We draw a horizontal line and we bisect it to find a vertical line. So I'll just do that quickly. But instead of making the vertical line go the whole way through the paper, we're only going to make it go above the horizontal line. So you should have a T just like that. Then go ahead and draw your circle in from the center you found. Okay. And now comes uh, the first tricky part. Okay, first we're going to put our compass stylus at one of the points that we found when we bisected the line. And we're going to extend, we're going to make the pencil go from where the arc was to the circumference where it crosses the center line. So we want it to go to there. We actually want to move the compass. Then draw an arc down to the horizontal line. Now we're going to take the compass and put it on the top point where the vertical line goes through the circumference. And we're going to bring our compass out again until we cut that arc we just made with the horizontal line and then we're going to sweep this out so that it crosses the circumference. Now this distance that the compass is set is now um, what we need to divide the circle into five points. So we go over to this side of the circle and make our arc here. Then we go to what will be the point the one of the shoulders of our star we find the top and we find one of the feet and we do the same thing on the other side now there'll probably be quite a bit of error in a five-pointed star and this one's got a lot you can see all the error but that's okay for practice if you were doing this for your display one for your four, it would be, you would take a little more time to make it uh, nice. And it takes some practice. So to make the star, just go ahead and connect, you know, the points on the circle. Just like how you learned to draw a star. And there's your pentagram. Now another thing you can do with the pentagram is kind of a flower shape. It's not really a flower. It's more like a sea star. Because all the others were flowers because the petals met in the middle but for the sea star you'll see that they're going to overlap and make more of a sea star shape than a flower hopefully I can make this one with less air
like this one turned out a lot better. Okay. Now, if I just complete those arcs, instead of drawing straight lines between, and there is your sea star right in the middle. So if you erase the lines, you can see a little bit easier, but there's a sea star. One other thing you can do is bisect those angles. And make a 10 pointed star. Thanks. So let's go ahead and make a, another five-pointed star. And turned out really nicely too. And now we're just going to bisect each of these angles just the way we did before, cutting the arcs outside the circle, the circumference of the circle. Now you don't have a point opposite to line up with, so what you have to do is op line up the arc outside with the opposite point, and that will give you the other five places on the circle. No problems here. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And just like you did before, going straight across would give you spokes, but going one back will give you the sharpest star. Just go around, advancing one each time you go around. And there you have a 10 pointed star, which is just two five pointed stars inverted.